from the Redwood Forest of Northern California. You're watching what Michael's doing right now. It looks like someone lost a fingernail. Can I glue it onto you? Hey Gavi, I have a question about yarmulkes. Yes. Do they have to be solid? Like, if if cause yours is just like a solid piece of material, but if in the middle was a circle that was like clear, like plastic, if you could see through it, is that still okay? I think so. Like a hat counts. Like you can wear a hat instead of one. Huh? What? Probably. Like they're almost all crocheted. So having a hole in the middle, like you would mo at most have have one where there's just a <laughs> solid hole. But I don't know of anyone who has one of those. What's the um, the rule, if you will, that, that says that this is a thing? It's actually not a rule. It's more of a symbol. So you wear it more as a symbol, but like it's become like you're not supposed to walk like without a head covering. Huh. Uh, kind of same thing like women, when they get married, they wear a head covering. Or when they go to the synagogue, they'll, they'll tend to wear a head covering. Okay. It's kind of the same thing. It's more of a like simple reminding you that God's above you or something like that. It's not like a commandment. So, how's, it, how's it gone so far? Well, buds. Yeah, buds. It's going real good, buds. That's good, buds. I mean, I'm pretty pretty tired, but you're, you're pretty sweaty, buds. I am. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! We've been ice skating today. It's been a good time. I haven't been in probably like 12 years. This was. Uh, this was fun. I don't know where Kelsey went. Kelsey, I lost you, but now I found you. Oh, when did you lose me? You were suddenly not on the ice. Were you looking for me? I didn't know where you went. Oh, I'm here now. Oh, hi. Today, for my marathon training, I have to run nine miles. I'm expecting this to take me about an hour and a half. So I've got my headphones and listen to some music. It's a lot to do on a treadmill. Hopefully I don't get too bored. Okay, I did it. Energy-wise, that didn't feel too bad. Physically, I can tell that the skin on my feet is not ready for socks rubbing up against them that much. They feel a little bit blistery right now. My ankles and my knees were hurting a little bit towards the end. I don't know if this is gonna show up, but I just wiped my forehead and that on my finger is salt. Here's my conundrum. After I finished that run, to hit my calorie goal, and I have to explain that my calorie goal is already at a pretty extreme deficit. Like it would not be good for me to not hit my calorie goal on a given day. That means that I'm probably gonna start losing muscle. So I need to hit my calorie goal on a daily basis. But to hit my calorie goal for the day, I have to consume about 2,000 calories tonight. So we are going to Five Guys right now. I'm going to order a burger without the bun. Mind you, each one of those burgers has two patties. After I finish eating that burger, I'm gonna eat another burger. <laughs> After I eat that burger, I'm gonna drink 14 fluid ounces of muscle milk protein drink. After I do that, I'm going to eat some chicken breasts. Not one, not two, but three chicken breasts. After that, <laughs> I'm going to eat one cup of broccoli. After that, I should have room for like one slice of cheese, and that should bring me to my calorie goal for the day. You just didn't eat that much earlier today? I had, I had five, about 500 calories before I went to the gym, and then I burned 1,500 calories running nine miles. Well, here's five guys. Two burgers. There it is, nom nom nom. I have to admit that I'm a little bit skeptical about my ability to physically fit all of this stuff into my stomach tonight. Uh, yes. <laughs> Well, today's the day. Today's the day that Ashley leaves us 
forever. Oh, hot, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, she flew in to visit Abby, but then was sick the whole time. Maybe one day when I come back, I'll be like 100% healthy. <sighs> um, Todd handed this to me and said it was my new scepter. Yeah. Enjoy. Can this be the talking stick during meetings? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what happens? What happens if I do this? And I have oh, everybody. Oh, now three people oh, can talk. Then it's just, oh, it's just chaos. Oh, now people it's talking chaos. at the same time. <laughs> Abby, what kind of meaningful contributions to science would you like to make before your time on this earth is done? I don't know that it's necessarily to a specific field in science, but contributing some way to get people to be more critical thinkers and more... I guess smart consumers of scientific research, that, that's what I would want to do. Damn! So, if I said, Abby, there's a flamethrower on Amazon for $200. What does this have to do with I, science? This is <laughs> well, being a critical consumer, I'm not really thinking about it, am I? <laughs> it's a different type of consumer. Oh, okay. Hey, guess what? You've just been Todd. Todd did it. <laughs> what I have learned from trying to run a business full time for almost the last year is that nobody runs like a perfectly fine-tuned machine. It's really easy to get down on yourself, not even just in a business sense, but like if you're trying to do something and you see other people seemingly doing it better or more perfectly, it just seems to be the case when interacting with other businesses that everybody has problems. It's both frustrating and reassuring that uh, miscommunication happens, breakdowns within other companies happen that cause delays. So it's just, that like companies like Apple and Ford and Chevy, the only reason that, that we all think they're like perfectly fine-tuned machines is because there's a giant marketing machine behind putting out this very collected facade. Because if they didn't put that out, if people knew what kind of arguments go on in boardrooms, what kind of breakdowns happen between executive teams and manufacturing teams, you wouldn't want to buy a car from them. So it's in their best interest to put the best foot forward. But man, there are a couple companies we're dealing with right now that don't have their <laughs> together. Big companies that would be surprising to learn didn't have their <laughs> together. Ah! I had this moment last week where I was looking at one company and I was just like feeling real bad because it was like, oh, this looks amazing from their website and all the stuff. It's like, dang, I would love for our company to be like that. And then the very following day we had an interaction with one of the ones that you were referring to and I was like, okay, clearly it's not all what it looks like on the surface. We're doing all right. <laughs> yep. <laughs>